You might have thrown a coin into a pond or fountain wishing for something good to happen. But did you know that this practice has ancient and quite disturbing roots? During the Iron Age, thousands of people came to their end in the wetlands of Northwest Europe. Their fate was largely unknown until a discovery was made in a Danish peat bog. Hi there, welcome to Campsite Sweden. This uh, story today takes us to Denmark and uh, judging about how this body was discovered, uh, I would say it's a bit of a disturbing case, but it's also a very fascinating one. It wields an ancient custom in Europe during the, the Iron Age. So, where and what is Denmark? Well, Denmark, as you probably know, is located in Europe. It's uh, home to 5,800,000 people. It's the home of the sandwich. The home of the Smørrebrød. This little sandwich here. If you are of the adventurous type, if you like to climb, you can climb the highest mountain peak in Denmark. Yding Skovhøy. Now listen to this. 176 meters above sea level. You better take your gear and go there immediately if you're into that. This is the case of the man in the bog. May 6th, 1950. The two brothers, Viggo and Emil Højgaard, were out digging peat at the Bjeldskovdal peat bog, 12 kilometers west of Silkesborg, Denmark. Two and a half meters down in the bog, they noticed something unusual in the otherwise black-brown wet peat. Upon further inspection, they saw bones and the contours of a human body buried in the peat. They thought they had come across a recent murder case. Around the same time, a person had gone missing in the central parts of Jutland, Denmark, and the finders assumed they might have discovered the body of the person, since the body's physical features were so well preserved. And the two brothers, Viggo and Emil, they uh, reported this find to the police. As you do when you find a body buried in a bog. So uh, the police, they got very interested in this. They went there immediately and uh, they started their investigations. But as they came there, the two brothers, they told the police that the peat was undisturbed. There seemed to have been no activity here, no digging. So uh, they soon concluded that this was a much older body. And closer examination revealed that this was a man from the Iron Age, 2,400 years old. But what was even more puzzling with this body was the position it was in. The body was cuddled up as if it was sleeping in the bog. The mouth and eyes were closed. And um, what was even more disturbing was the fact that it had a rope, a leather rope, tightly around its neck. And apart from the rope around his neck, he had a cap on his head and a leather belt around his waist. Otherwise, he was, he was naked. He had been hanged. And he had been cut down from the rope and carried out in the bog, 60 meters from solid, solid ground. And this is a bit strange. I mean, why don't you bury someone on the solid ground? Why put them out in the bog? Now, this is not the first time a bog body has been found in Europe. There are hundreds of examples of bodies found in bogs. And if you look at the uh, timeline from where the bo bodies are from, you can see that most of them are from the Iron Age. And they have some similarities. 
For example, there is a girl, the Ede girl, find, found in the Netherlands, who is buried in the same way. She was 16 years old. She had been probably hanged and put down in the bog. And there are numerous other examples of similar cases. So this practice seemed to be some kind of cultural tradition. It was not uncommon for the Iron Age people to put artifacts from uh, enemies into bogs. So bogs had some kind of divine significance for these people. So what's so special about this man in the bog that we cover in this episode? The Tolland man, named after the community where he was found. This uh, Danish bog body from the Iron Age is extremely well preserved. You can see all the details in his face and it's like he is just sleeping. And remember that this body is 2,400 years old. So how can it be so well preserved? The bog is uh, usually very cold, below 4 degrees Celsius. It's very acidic and it is uh, deprived of oxygen. All this together means that it will be preserved, much like uh, pickled onion or <laughs> whatever you put in your... your um... So, who was this man, this Tolland man, buried in a Danish bog and discovered in the 1950s? Was he a criminal? Was he a high-status person in the society? We don't know. But what we do know is that he most probably was a human sacrifice. Maybe it was because of the harvest that year. Maybe the harvest was bad. And uh, the people, the local community, they decided that the gods wanted something in return. So it was probably a wish, a wish for something better. To please the gods in some way. That's also what we do today. The practice we have when we throw coin into a pond or into a fountain and we wish for something good to happen. The origin of that tradition stems most probably from the time, the Iron Age or even, maybe even before that. So that's all for today and uh, thank you so much for watching and if you want please subscribe to the channel and if you want leave your comments below what you think about this. The mystery of the bog bodies. What's their purpose? Okay, see you in the next video. Bye.